you know, CMI isn't just about science. We're here to help you get easy to understand answers to your questions, as well as encourage you and equip you to share those with others. And this course will do just that, to help you be more confident to share the good news of God's Word. You know, 1 Peter 3.15 says that we're to always be prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks us for the reason for the hope that is in us. This is a command for every believer to be prepared with a defense for our faith. And in this course, we hope to equip you with those answers. We're hoping to help you understand how Genesis is the foundation of the rest of the Bible so that you can get equipped with a defense against these attacks. And there's no better place to start than in the beginning. You see, God had a perfect creation. There was no death, no sorrow, no pain. And we were created to live with our Creator in perfect and complete communion. The New Testament writers, they all treated these people as historical and real. They're not saying that Jesus descended from an ape-like creature, as many would contend. So according to Jesus, who was there, man was created at the beginning of time. Not as many would lead us to believe, that after billions and billions of years, when a primordial soup of non-living chemicals brought forth some simple reproducing life form that somehow changed over millions of years to a more complex life form until finally, at the end of billions of years, God finally got it right when man and woman came on the scene. <laughs> no, Jesus taking Genesis literally as it's plainly written said that God created man and woman at the beginning. You see, when we dig up a fossil, we dig up the present. It doesn't come with a label on it that tells us what species it is or how old it was. Because, you see, the evidence does not speak for itself. It must be interpreted. We believe that you will learn more about how all the doctrines of Christianity and even the gospel itself rely on the foundation of creation and those early historical events in the beginning.